when somebody tries to use history as an argument, it's extremely toxic, extremely dangerous, and it results in the war. Никогда не откажусь от своего убеждения, что русские и украинцы – это один народ. It's very important to debunk uh, Putin's version of history because it's very dangerous. So in this sense, uh, it's uh, like argument of Hitler, based on the idea that Germany is a territory when German language is spoken. Putin misunderstands Ukraine. He has no clue about Ukraine. Without a doubt, Ukrainians and Russians are different nations. Most uh, people in the West tend to see Ukraine in the shadows of Russia, which doesn't correspond to historical reality because Russian factor in Ukrainian history is relatively modern of the last two centuries. Before that, Ukrainian territory didn't belong to the Russian space. Ukraine is much older than Russia as civilization. Ukraine has been independent during two periods. First was the Cossack uh, state, and it emerged in the middle of the 17th century, and then at the end of the First World War. Ukrainians proved to be the most resistant to Stalin in the 1930s. Stalin decided to punish Ukraine separately and to create a famine. And this is what Holdomor was. The main aim was to break down Ukraine. Holdomor was one of the most tragic and crucial moments in Ukrainian history. You could never imagine a scenario of Lenin, Stalin, or Putin in Ukraine. Because there, you couldn't hardly fashion an authoritarian state in Ukraine. For Ukraine, freedom is very much important, and civil society is very much important, unlike in Russia. The Ukraine sovereignty is under attack, and Ukraine requires strongly international support, because our countries depend on each other. It's why Ukrainian delegation of civil society comes to Argentina to discuss the ways how we could be strong relationship with our two countries. <laughs>